Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Ginger. I have got a good video, I think, for you guys today. I am excited about this one. So, I have been on a mission to replicate some uh, textured tissue papers that I found online. And I think I've gotten pretty close. I have not been able to find um any videos really showing how to do this but uh let me show you real quick what i've been looking at let me let me give you a an idea of what we're doing here so hopefully you can see this without a reflection um this is kind of what i was going for and you can see this beautiful paper. I think it is uh, mulberry or washi paper is what they call it. Um, Kozo washi paper. And you can see these beautiful textures. And they're, sam well, it's stuck to uh, mulberry paper. And sometimes these are hard to find. And they can be expensive, you know, four or five bucks for a sheet and then possibly shipping. Uh, this one for me would include um, international shipping because I'm in the States. So anyway, I thought that I would give this a try and see what I could come up with for good, uh, interesting textures for a collage paper. So these would be great for mixed media, collage and that's really what I'm planning on using this for. So I was goofing around last night and um, I'll show you how I did these but you know of course these were just my practice ones so I wasn't trying to like make any particular design or anything but so I did these three and I think they turned out pretty good. I really like how they turned out. So in some of these things, you know, have all different shapes. It's not just the roses. They have circles and squiggles and all kinds of pretty things. But how fun would it be to take this and tear it up, cut it up, layer it in your uh, mixed media collage, and then like put inks on it or paints on it. Uh, whatever you wanted to do. I just think this is going to be really, uh, it's going to be a game changer. All right, so I have these, and uh, like I said, these are just the ones I did last night. Let me show you uh, what kind of supplies that I used. Now, what I did use was just plain old cotton string. Um, and this one was the one I have. It's just plain white. I think uh, that's gotten by some uh, other fabric or yarn or something in my stash and got some different colors on it. But I think it kind of adds to the texture of it. So I'm sticking with it. I just, I let that come through. You can see here where those little pieces are and I just left them. I think it looks good. All right. So you can, this is what I am using and what I did use last night for these, but you could also use any kind of uh, string that you have. It doesn't have to be cotton. Um, so whatever kind of sewing thread yarn, you could have so much fun with uh, different colors. And then uh, you could also do I did a few with some sewing thread. This you guys probably cannot see, but I did use some sewing thread and this is white, so you really can't see it too good. But I played with that. Uh, let's see, there you go, that's better. You can kind of see the sewing thread in there. And again, you could use different colors and you know, you could just tear it up. Now, the only thing is when you go to tear this, you're not going to be able to tear the string. 
So let scissors go. You just go through and clip wherever the, uh, whenever you get to the string. Just do this. And then the rest of it has a torn edge that way. And then it should really blend in. There you go. It should really blend in with your uh, collage. And once you get matte medium over the top of this, then all this will kind of disappear and you'll just have what looks like string or thread, whatever you have, stuck to the paper. It's going to be so good. All right. So let me show you. So I'm using tissue paper and I got good results and I think that'll blend in really good. But I think that you could also use uh, deli paper. So either way, I've got some uh, tissue paper over here that I tore up. Uh, so I have my string and then matte medium. I'm going to try this today. Last night I used matte gel and it worked. Um, it's a little thick and so it's kind of hard to spread. So I'm going to try the medium today. And I kind of felt like with the thicker string, you might need the gel, but we're going to play with that here. I don't think that's going to be completely necessary. All right. And then of course I just have a paintbrush. Um, you can use a uh, silicone wedge. And then I also have a straw and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And then here is just a, a cheap piece of plastic. This is actually one of those uh, report covers that comes, you know, well, this one came from the dollar store. It normally has a little uh, plastic piece on the side, but I took it off and I'm just going to use that. And then I have some big sheets of the tissue paper, but I have got it kind of torn down where we're working a little bit smaller. And I think what I'm going to do actually is take this one and fold it in half. All right, and then I'm going to turn it like this. Okay. So I think that I'm just going to use my matte medium out of the jar. I'm just going to squeeze it on and then use my paintbrush to spread it around. So what I did, and this stuff is going to move. So you could probably do a couple of different things. You can take like a little piece of uh, washi tape and stick it down. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to try this little clip here. See if you can see that. Make sure I'm in frame here. And that just, or you really can do anything. Just put something heavy on there and it'll keep it from, keep it from sliding. All right, so I have a dry brush and matte medium. And I'm just going to spread some of this out where I think I might want it. Try to work in the middle of the page so it doesn't like hang off the edge, but if it does, that's okay too. And probably went a bit overboard with this, but that's okay. All right. That right there. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this straw. Really, this is just for ease uh, of applying the string to the tissue paper. So last night I was taking this and laying the string down in here, and it gets kind of messy. So I thought we would use this straw like a pencil. You just thread your string through the hole.
to come out. Yep. Okay. So we're just running it through like that. Make sure you've got um, plenty of yarn ready to go. And I just have it piled loosely beside me. All right. So I take this yarn and pull it up close to, so there's not a bunch hanging out here. And then whatever pattern you want to do, I'm just going to make like some squiggles. So, and this is what uh, the silicone wedge is for. I'm going to use the itty bitty one that actually came with a nail kit and use that just to kind of keep my fingers clean. So I'm going to stick that in there, just kind of hold it. And then anytime I'll drag this a little bit and then use this silicone let's see to stick it kind of go through and you can do any kind of shape you want i'm just going to kind of go through here just do some random little designs And what you could do is you could put a printout or maybe some design that you want to replicate. Like if you're trying to make a you know perfect circle or a rose or something like that, you could put a printout behind your paper and then Trace it. Just follow the edges. That's such a good idea. I'm so excited. So I'm going to have some videos come in that'll have uh, a little bit of collage work in there. I do love using collage in my mixed media. Super fun. And you can just do this, whatever crazy patterns you want to do. And then keep in mind that most likely you're going to you know, cut this up or tear it up. So it doesn't have to be any particular shape or design. Go through and make a crazy little maze. And you can overlap. Let me show you that too. You can cross back over your other string. Just make sure you mash it in to the um, matte medium so it gets wet. All right. I think that's. Good enough for this one. Let's get my scissors and cut that. And I'm going to stick that, stick the end of that down into the matte medium. Now you can use uh, just another sheet of tissue paper. I need somewhere to put these. Okay. So then you just simply take another sheet of tissue paper, or if you're folding it in half like me, uh, use the other half. And then what I like to do before I go sticking it is kind of start in the middle and kind of push the middle down. And that helps to keep it from ripping. Because if you start on the outside and go in, You'll have pieces that look like this that won't get stuck. I would start in the middle and just kind of give it a little, little press. And all you're really doing is just trying to stick both pieces of the tissue paper together. And it doesn't matter if you have any wrinkles. I'm going to unclip that. If you have wrinkles, 
even if you have tears, that part, that's fine. Because that is not going to show when you go to collage with these. And if it is dry, like if you took it too long and it's getting dry, just put a little more matte medium in there. So what happens if you poke at it a bunch and like you're getting matte medium on your fingers, it'll stick to the uh, tissue paper and then you're going to start having problems. So if your fingers start getting wet, you may have to use something else. I also go through with the brayer kind of um, after I've squished most of it down and start in the middle and just kind of roll out any air bubbles and make sure that it's all sealed in. See, like you can see here that there's not a lot of matte medium around it. So that may lift up right there. So I could stick a little more in between there if I wanted to. All right. I think that is pretty good. And then you can just very easily, and you got to be gentle, you can pull this off of your plastic. You could let it dry like that. Well, I don't know. I haven't done that. So if you let it dry on there, it might stick and tear. Not completely sure. So what I did was just pull it off, flip it upside down, and then lay it loosely on uh, another sheet of clean plastic or get one of those old uh, cutting boards. Yeah, I have like one of these old uh, cutting mats. And I just lay these on here. I let mine dry overnight. And there you go. Not awesome. And then they turn out like that. So there is that. Like I said, you can explore many, many different types of options. You can do colored thread. You can take these. What's really fun is, see, after it's all sandwiched and glued in there, if you were to put like ink drops or any kind of a color on the top, it's not going to get all the way through. So that it's going to give you some variation. Like you'll have some white spots left. So I think that's really awesome. And this is like super cheap, super easy. And you can make these sheets whenever you want. And just have a stack of them at home and you don't have to feel bad for spending, you know, five, ten dollars for a, a sheet of paper. Uh, let me show you one other thing you could do. I had an idea. Uh, so this thread is like four ply, I think. Another fun idea. You can take this thread and split it. So not only could you like divide it in half, maybe if you thought it was too thick and you just wanted some thin, thinner um, texture and this is all you had, you can split it. Or the other fun thing is taking these plies and kind of pull them apart. And then look, you can stick them on the inside and look there. It almost looks like a little flower or a weed. Isn't that a great idea? All right, I'm gonna make one, I'm gonna make a little bit more and I will speed these up for you and you can just watch along with some music. But let your imagination start running wild.
these also don't have to be um, one long piece. You can cut these and do little strips. It also probably put this on with a brayer, but it'll be a little bit thinner. And I kind of like it being a little thick in some places. I feel like it grabs a hold of the yarn better. Ah!
All right. There we have three of them all finished. They just need to dry. Uh, some, some of these edges weren't quite as wet as I probably would have wanted them. So if you're going all the way to the edge, make sure you watch where you're putting your matte medium. Get it all the way to the edge. But there you go, guys. Super fun technique. And that can be used for all kinds of mixed media fun. So, and you will be seeing these again soon. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, if you use this technique please uh, tag me on instagram let me see what you made what kind of designs you did i would love to see those and uh and please for, if you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video you guys have a good rest of your day